Good evening, friends. It's 12 9 2021. This is bonus video number one. This is the Odin Project uh, vlog 12, I believe, still. Um, let me verify that just for my logging. Yep, it is still day 12. Sorry, it's been a long one. Uh, bonus video tonight. Uh, I went ahead and did the next uh, lesson. Uh, this will be. Uh, Lesson two, class over class ID selectors, and here's the README file. We'll go through it real quick, so we know what we're getting into. It says, knowing how to add class and ID attributes to HTML tags, as well as to use their respective selectors, is invaluable. And it's important to practice using them. There are several elements in the HTML file provided, which you will have to add either a class or ID ID attributes to as noted in the outcome image below. You will then have to add rules to the CSS file provided using the correct sy sy selector syntax. <laughs> look over the outcome images carefully and try to keep in mind which elements look similarly style styled classes, which ones may be completely unique from the rest, ID, and which ones have slight variations from the other multiple classes. It isn't entirely important which class or ID value you use, as the focus here is on being able to add the attributes and use the correct selector syntax to style the elements. For the colors in this exercise, try using a non-keyboard value like RGB, hex, or HSL. The properties you need to add to each element are <coughs> all odd numbered elements get a light uh, red and pink background and a list of fonts containing veranda as the first option and sans serif as a fallback. The second element, blue text and a font size of 36 pixels. The third element, in addition to the styles for all, all the odd elements, we're going to add a font size of 24 pixels. And the fourth element is a light green background, a font size of 24 pixels and bold. And it says, quick tip in VS Code, you can change which format colors are displayed in RGB, hex, or HSL by hovering over the color values in the CSS and clicking the top of the pop-up that appears. Note, part of your task is to add a font to some of these items. Do not worry about the fonts for the rest of them. Your browser's default font might be, in, might be different than the one displayed, and that's okay for this exercise. And then it gives uh, the picture of the desired outcome that we'll go over. Self-check, uh, just as important. I find these very helpful, especially when I feel like I may not have the solution quite yet. Um, first one says, do the odd number P elements, do the odd number P elements share a class? Do the even number div elements have unique IDs? Does the number three element have multiple classes? So there is a verbose uh, readme file for what we're gonna be doing. So. First off, what I, what I did by doing is just kind of step my way through it. So I first looked at all the odd elements, excuse me, and um, figured out that they needed a light red or pink background, a list of fonts containing verana, verdana, excuse me, and the uh, and as the first option, and sans serif as a fallback. So I started looking over the index file, and index HTML file, and it's just your standard boilerplate. Here's your number one, I'm a class. Number two, I'm an, I'm one ID. Number three, I'm a class, but cooler. Number four, I'm another ID. And number five, I'm a class. So immediately I realized, and through the, the check at the bottom, is one, three, and five are going to have the same class. And two and four are going to have unique IDs. And not only did I gather that from the, the help file, is I, I would, it's not cheating. I did look at the desired outcome, and I seen what it what it should end up looking like, and I seen a pattern. Uh, one, three, and five have the same background and varying size fonts, and there was no comparison of 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 similarity between two and four. So I knew that those were going to be my uniques, and they say ID in them too. But I knew those were going to be my unique IDs, and these are going to be my um, similar classes. So there's a start to that. <clears throat> so the first thing to do, that I actually started doing si styling first, but really probably the better thing to do is to go into the boilerplate file here and uh, build out the 
the classes and IDs. So the first one for number one is I'm a class and we need to give it the attribute of number one I just chose. And then same with uh, so one, three, and five. I'm just going to do keep it simple and do um, uh, one, three, and number five, just like that. And then I would go. Then I went back and typo there. <coughs> then I went back to <coughs> div and <coughs> part of my trets tonight and did the ID. So ID equals number two, and this one would be ID equals number four. And that's it for that part. So now you have your, your classes and your IDs defined inside your elements. Now to go now it's time to go over to style everything. So now we have everything labeled and we have in our mind we know that one, three, and five are going to share elements. Two and four are going to be completely unique. So the first thing you want to do is uh, define 1, 3, and 5. In my head and how I wrote this out, I ended up deleting this, um, is I did, I, I went back to the text and I remembered, I was like, I know there's a way to add selectors together that have similar styling. So here's what I did. I did, I did class number 1, comma, and then class number 2, or excuse me, class number three and then class number five together as one. If you put commas after them, they're gonna uh, CSS will uh, will apply the declarations to all three. So and then in here it would be the background color as we already went through is an RGB. Well, I used the hint of blue violet first and then I changed it because it they wanted it to be more pinkish. So I chose that as RGB and just using the help hint of clicking. You can't see that um, on the screen, but I, I, I got into the color palette and changed RGB, and that's how I got the, those values there. And then I did a font family of that, I kept type, typoing here, that Verdana and then Sans Serif as the secondary. And I moved on, and I thought for a minute, I'm like, okay, so... I've got the similarities there, and I was like thinking, should I move on to the IDs or should I stay on the class, the um, uh, classes? So I was like, I made the decision right or wrong. I made the decision to stay on the classes, and I decided the only one that was different was uh, number three had an additional font size, if you remember. Um, if we go back here, the third one, in addition to the styles for all the all the numbered elements add a font size of 24. So I went back here then and at, and declared additional class number three and gave this the font size of 24 pixels. Okay. And so what that does is it, in addition to giving it the background color and the font family, it also gives it that font size just for the third class number, the th number three class not the not for the one and five if that makes sense so then I went back to text and I wanted to work on time to work on the IDs so um, two and four are going to be your IDs so this one's the second element is blue text and a font size of 36 so I went back to style and I defined out um, remember, uh, pound sign is for your ID. So ID number two is going to get what we just discussed. Uh, the color is is blue. I change that to RGB, and then um, add in the font size of 36 pixels. Okay, and then um, going on to the fourth, the fourth element, my ID has to have a light green background, a font size of 24 pixels, and bold. So I go back to my styles. Define out my um, my, um, cla my ID of pound number 4. And this one is going to have the background color of light green. 
and I'll choose I'll go back to that in a second and fix that for hex font size of 24 pixels and a font weight of bold which I changed to 700 which is the same thing this exercise wants you to use very use numbers not the not the common names if you can and I did not go back and change that background color so we'll just do that right here this is how you do it you click it it's real easy you click it and then there you go and then click up here and there you go and there it is so then I hit control s to or you know I could trust or save all since I got multiple files that I have and then um, I already have this loaded in the browser so you go over here go over here and refresh and there it is and then I compared it to the desired outcome and looks pretty good to me a little bit in the way here but there you go looks pretty good to me I mean the of course my colors off on that but but you get the point. Um, all the stuff that really matters matters there. So uh, everything's in the right order. So and is that my and everything seems to be where it should be. So <clears throat> the interesting thing that I, that I want to show you is um, now that you've seen that is the solution file has. It's interesting how I got the same pro I got the same result, but I didn't do this. So in in the the P class here or the P tag here, they have a class of odd decline def, decline or def, defined, excuse me, and then they have oddly cool in there. And I was like, okay, I only have one, but you see on style what they did for their styling. You see, they added an odd, and then an odd, they added an oddly cool. They did not do any groupings uh, like I did. Um, not the right term, but but the the sharing of the elements. So actually, I feel like this is a cleaner, better way to do it. And I feel like I, I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I feel like this this was a smarter way to do it. I just love that no matter what, whether I was ultimately right or wrong, because my solution because my syntax isn't exactly the same I think it's cool that both solutions got to the actual result this just this just made it more plainly to see um, honestly I feel like this was actually a little more thought had to go into this one a little more work but you can see the rest of it's exactly the same so there's your number two there's your number four you know I just and I just wrote mine out and you guys believe me or not but I swear to you I did not cheat I did not look at these solutions um, right now I just feel like I'm getting it and I feel I feel on top of the game right now and I feel really good and I know this isn't gonna be forever and I'm gonna get stumped here shortly I'm sure and get get hit with a roadblock but for right now I, I, I think I'm getting it and these videos are helping because I I do it once and then I teach it basically so I'm kind of doing it twice so that's a I think that's a good thing so anyway, um, we're good timing here. I'm going to wrap this up. So um, thanks for coming along again with me on the bonus video number two for 12-9-2021. Uh, and have a good one. We'll talk to you later.